Okay, so we're here today to make some bruschetta bread. So what you're going to need is your tomato, some green onion, uh, red onion, some feta cheese. We got our Italian seasoning, our garlic bread, and just some um, cheese. So mash it all. Let's get started. We're going to start with chopping up all of our vegetables. We do want it diced so it's nice and small. Um, yeah, let's get started. That's what we'll start with. We'll start with our tomato. I did wash these first, so make sure you do wash your uh, vegetables first and then start dicing them. Dicing up my red onion and my green onion. So we're just going to stir stir this up. Now and we're just going to try and make sure our red onion separates from each other. At this point we can add our Italian seasoning in. Give this a nice stir. And you don't want to go too rough when you're stirring it because you don't want to turn your tomato super mushy. We're going to put this to the side and now we're going to work with our garlic. So this is the garlic bread I got. So we're just going to cook one for now because that's more than enough for my family. So we're going to begin with just toasting the top. So you want the top to be just a little toasted. And I'm just gonna... so we're just going to broil just the top. Um, just make sure it's toasted. We're not cooking it all the way through. We're just toasting the top just so when we put this on, it doesn't get soggy. So I'm just going to put this into the oven. Okay, so now while that is the garlic bread is actually just toasting, I have my feta here and I'm just going to crumple it up using a fork. So this is about the consistency I like. You can make it bigger chunks if you like, how much, depending on how much you like feta. But let's take a look and see how our garlic bread is doing. Okay, so my garlic bread was in there for about five minutes and it's nice and toasted real good. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put cheese on top of my garlic bread. And this just makes it a nice base. So we're just going to put this now back into the oven. The oven's actually just off because we're just melting the cheese at this point. So we're going to put that in there and let the cheese melt. And once the cheese is melted, we're going to take it out and start to add the rest of our dressing. So my garlic bread is nice and ready. The cheese is melted. So I'm just going to put this on top of here. I'll bring this more in the center. Okay, so what's going to happen now is we're going to add our veggies. I'm putting a stove on 350, bake, just to preheat it. Okay. 
Okay, so now that we're done with our veggies, we're just going to add our feta cheese. Okay, so now lastly, we're going to add one more layer of cheese. And what this is for is it's just to keep this actually nice and tight together so your toppings don't fall off as you cut your garlic bread or your bruschetta bread at this point, I should say. So this is just going to act as like a glue and hold it together. And of course you can definitely put as much or as little as you would like of all the toppings. It is totally up to you. So I'm gonna leave this be and I'm gonna put it back in the oven um, just for, just to let the cheese pretty much melt again. So our bruschetta bread has been here in here for about 10 minutes. We're just gonna take it out. And here we go it's all done I'm gonna give it a few minutes to cool down before I cut it up and then it will be ready to eat okay so we gave our bruschetta bread a few minutes just to cool down now we're gonna cut them up and then they're ready to eat bon appetit and miigwech for joining me